Hi guys, hello and welcome to the first tutorial on this channel. Um, basically I'm doing this tutorial mainly for the Minecraft servers. Um, oh, one sec. Mine, uh, Minecraftservers.net um, He's the owner of that is wanting a few new like tutorials and stuff so I'm making this tutorial to see if he wants it. Um, so basically today I'm going to show you how to create a Tech It Lite server that should be lag free. Say should because it depends on what your specs of the computer you run it on. Ours runs on a dead E so you can expect that to be lag free for the majority of the time. So first of all I'm going to show you you need to go to technicpack.net um, slash techitlight and from there on the about page you have let me just maximize that you have download Tech It Lite server. You need to click that and it will download it there. I don't need to so because I've already got it. Um, basically this will be an MCPC server. So first of all you need to create a quick folder on your desktop called Tech It Lite. Um, open that up. It's obviously an empty folder. Let me just reduce that down. Um, so you then open up this, you've got, so this is the one you downloaded from the site. Um, you can just copy and paste that all into there to unzip it, as you can see here it's doing. Um, basically Tech It Lite is quite an intensive server so it's got all these mods and it does take a lot to start up. So first of all, before you do anything else, you need to not do get not use that jar to make it so as you can actually use plugins on your server. So if you're wanting to make a public server or add something like essentials, you want to get some uh, get a um, new jar called MCPC. Um, this is no longer available on the on their official site. So in the description below I will give a link and I will upload this and give you a link to it, this jar here. Um, this jar will it is basically the original MCPC that I started using on my server. Um, all you need to do is rename it to Tech It Lite like this and drag it into the folder as well. And obviously click replace file in destination. And I would say double check what your stats are here. I want that to be one gig because I've because I'm recording it will mess up if I do anything else. And launch it. We've got that all coming up here. Like it's going to download all of the lib files, all of the config files, everything else it needs to run your server. Um. It's really simple. Check every all plugins should work with MCPC. There are a few that bug out, like um, I think Faction still is still buggy with it. But most plugins work with MCPC. Bucket Forge they don't, and I will show you that uh, the Bucket Forge way in another in a, in a totally different video. Um, so yeah, this is basically creating the server for you the um getting all the uh, all the stuff that it needs and once it has all the stuff it needs it will start up properly and you'll be able to get on there. I won't be able to launch my Minecraft as well as run the server because I'm also recording so you can obviously understand. As you see you can see all of this these files being created by the server starting to run. 
and it is literally as simple as that guys it's a simple fact of dragging and dropping the servers that they have on their site um, so yeah once that is fully loaded you'll be able to log on you can then add your pl some plugins if you want um, like essentials but make sure you use the 1.4.7 versions of these plugins or they may not work because obviously you've still got the um, you've still got some things like that it, it it's an older version of minecraft it's still on 1.4.7 and tech it light is likely to stay that way so yeah um i believe that's fully loaded now actually yeah that's the startup done and it's as simple as that and just stop it just type stop you can see everything stop and you're done You've got all these files to play around with. You've got some config files there. So if you've got something you want to try and disable, have a look in here first before using plugins to ban it. And that's the basics of making a Tech It Light server, guys. Thanks for watching, and I shall see you guys in a little bit.